Tonight, concerns are growing for Arlington neighbors about an area they say is dangerous for both drivers and for pedestrians. This morning, a toddler was rushed to the hospital in life-threatening condition and two adults in critical condition in a three-vehicle crash on Cessary Boulevard. On your side, Cheyenne Cole joins us live along that same road tonight. And Cheyenne, tell us a little bit more about what happened. Well, the, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says a minivan heading southbound right here veered off hitting a vehicle driving northbound head on. Those two cars spun hitting a third northbound vehicle. People who live nearby tell me they're concerned by what they see, believing many people speed through this area. There are cars that come around these curves so fast that it will make your head spin. It's terrifying. Jewel Thomas lives with her grandchildren just down the road from Cessary Boulevard in Columbine Drive, where a three vehicle crash happened Wednesday morning. She says this curved road is dangerous, so she wasn't surprised, but she was horrified to find out one of the passengers was under five years old. Unfortunately, there was a toddler that was in one of the northbound vehicles. So afraid of what she describes as out of control drivers, Thomas pulled her grandchildren from Duval Schools, Arlington Heights Elementary, and enrolled them in a charter school. The district has a policy that students who live less than one and a half miles from their school must walk. Their family is just 0.3 miles shy of meeting that criteria. Thomas says district leaders should reconsider making kids walk to school in areas like this one. I've walked in storms, I've walked in extreme heat. 1.5 miles in the zone, you can walk. And it's not even necessarily the distance, that's fine. It's the condition of the walk that I'm complaining about. Either way, she says the city needs to address the dangerous road. Let's get this road under control here and let's get some uh, buses for these kids that live in danger zones that's walking to school, whether it's 1.2 miles, 1.5, I don't care. They need to be safe. A Duval School spokesperson told First Coast News they're disappointed to lose those students, but completely respect Thomas for doing what is in the best interest of her grandchildren. Reporting live in Arlington, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News, on your side.